Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So um, we're covering multiple passages about the gospel. That's sort of a thematic thing. And one of the patterns that we, I noticed as I was reading through that and trying to study it is it's actually there's this paradoxical pattern that emerges through the passages. I don't, I don't know if you noticed that, but the gospel, the paradoxical pattern is that gospel is both narrow and wide. Um, it says, you know, whoever believes in him in John 3, 16. So mm-hmm. the salvation given to whoever believes in him. Um, there is the aspect of salvation is for everyone who believes. That's the gospel, right? Mm-hmm. Gospel is universally available to everyone. But at the same time, it says, no one comes to the Father except through me. right? And um, the last passage is like salvation is in no one else. There is salvation in no one else. So the gospel is both narrow and wide. It's exclusive and universal. And I think, you know, we feel we might feel a little bit shy about the exclusivity. That's one reason why people are made to feel ashamed of the gospel. Yeah, but but we shouldn't because ex- it's exclusivity is basically simply the exclusivity of truth. I think you can just plainly say it this way. Like, look, God is God and what's not God is not God, right? Like, mm-hmm. if I choose to serve money and sex and power and say, well, that's my God. Well, God is not, that's not God. That's not the same God of the God of the universe who died for us and who forgives of our forgives us of our sins, mm. right? And to claim that they're both the same or like it should be the doesn't matter, that just doesn't make sense even logically, right? So, yeah. So um, Romans says that it is uh, the gospel is the power of God for salvation to everyone. So it's. Um, exclusive like you said but also it's available Mm. to everyone regardless of uh, race or ethnicity regardless of class regardless of even moral uprightness that doesn't um, exclude anyone from receiving the gospel so that's pretty amazing Uh, most systems in the world are designed to be exclusive actually where you have to be from the right um, class or race or um, do certain things Um, Mm -hmm. you can't be from the wrong type of family but unlike um, those systems uh, for Christ- for Christianity, um, it's available to everyone who believes, and yeah. it, those things don't matter. So that can give us confidence. There is actually no one disqualified from receiving the gospel. Yeah, and so there's really, like, like what Sarah was saying, there's no, no other system of salvation that is actually more open than the gospel, actually, right? You don't have to meditate and achieve nirvana through a thousand lifetimes in order to achieve salvation you don't have to jump through hoops or earn your salvation through good works Mm -hmm. and even when people say hey you know what why doesn't god just simply open it wide open for everyone and 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 just say it doesn't matter which god you serve you know yeah that you believe in and just like the you know the example is like that that kind and gentle man who worships an idol yeah like why doesn't god But, but notice even in that example there's actually a criteria of a moral life you need to be kind and gentle you don't nobody says why can't you be like pillaging and plundering pirates and nazi uh why doesn't god like nobody asks that right well because you're if you're not moral then you're excluded because there's no forgiveness right but the gospel because it's the good news of forgiveness of sins even a moral life is not a criteria for salvation it is really just like receiving that forgiveness as a gift Mm-hmm. That's why there's this this amazing openness to the gospel mm-hmm. for everyone. Um, so this duality of open, narrow, and wide nature of, of the gospel, it really gives us the motivation to go and preach the gospel. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, it can be a person who's from upright family, moral life, all of his life. And there's another person who has a broken family, who's addicted to all sorts of wrongs and sins and broken down by sin, very two opposite people, the gospel can save both. Mm. In fact, the Bible seems to say that it might be harder for the person who's upright because of their pride. Mm -hmm. So I think that really gives us the motivation to to appreciate the power of the gospel and share it. Amen. Amen. All right. Bye-bye.